Hello and welcome to the Seafly family. In this video, we're going to show you how to correctly assemble your e-foil. Read the user manual before use. If you're new to e-foiling, make sure to watch our How to E-foil guide in the link above. Lay the board upside down on its board bag or a soft surface. Make sure that there are no debris or sand on its bottom and in the cable tube. Use the provided Teflon gel and apply it in the stainless steel inserts in the board to prevent oxidization. Lubricate the O-ring at the mast plate with the provided electrolyte gel. Carefully run the connectors through the cable hole one by one, ensuring that no cable is stuck and compressed in the process. Gently push the hydrofoil in its place with a slight twisting motion. Tighten it with the provided screws. Apply some Teflon gel to the five threaded inserts holding the wings in place. Tighten the wings with the corresponding screws. To adjust the riding balance of the foil, you can use the provided plastic shims. Positive numbers will increase the front foot pressure and will generally make the foil more stable. Negative numbers will have the opposite effect and allow for greater speed and maneuverability. If you want to remove the propeller guard, you have to remove the propeller first. Unscrew the safety nut, gently pull the propeller out of the shaft and remove the pin. Unscrew the screws holding the propeller guard and replace it with the alternative cap. Install the propeller by following the steps in reverse order. If you're alone, you can grab the handle on the board's rail with one hand and hold the mast or fuselage with the other. Alternatively, you can hold the top of the hydrofoil at the mast with one hand over your shoulder. It is a good idea to carry the e-foil and battery apart closer to the water before assembling them. Turn the e-foil upright, making sure that you don't put pressure on the tips of the wings while doing so. Open the lid of the battery compartment. Make sure that the compartment and the battery are both clean and dry. The rubber gasket and lid surface should be free from sand and debris to prevent water ingression. Lubricate all connectors with the provided dielectric gel to avoid oxidization. Locate the communication connectors. Align the arrows on both ends and push them together. You will hear a clicking sound when the connectors are locked. To detach them, rotate the grey ring in the shown direction and pull them apart. If you're not going to disassemble the e-foil between sessions, do not detach the communication connector to prevent water ingression. If you ever get the pins wet, wait until they are completely dry before connecting them to prevent pin oxidization. Carefully place the battery into its compartment and lock it by rotating the knob 90 degrees. Attach the black power cable by pushing the plug connector onto the black socket connector of the battery until you hear a click. The positive red connector has a unique key so that it can't be attached to the wrong terminal. Align it sideways to the battery with its top pointing outwards as shown in the video and push it in. To remove the connector plug, push the little button on its side and pull it out gently. Close the lid and lock it in place with the latches. The magnets incorporated in the lid will activate the battery that will turn on the system. Once you hear the beeping tone from the monitor, your e-foil is ready to ride. Never spin the propeller for more than two seconds out of the water. The generated heat can damage the water seals and compromise the motor. Use the Seafly mobile app for Android and iOS to pair the remote control with your board for the first time. After each session, rinse the board and foil thoroughly with fresh water. Pay attention to the motor and rubber seals. Crystallized salt can damage both of them. In the case of water ingression in the battery compartment, clean it with fresh water and let it dry out before use. If you store your e-foil assembled for longer times, make sure to disassemble it every three to four weeks and apply TEF gel to the screws and inserts to avoid oxidization processes. Additionally, apply some dielectric gel to the communication and power connectors every once in a while to prevent electrolysis. Use the same gel to lubricate the O-ring on top of the mask plate to ensure a good seal. Seafly, the easiest way to start flying.